What's going on guys, it's the Review Artist, and today it's time for the review for the Moto 362. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So guys, here's the Moto 362, and let's just put this to the side, as we do with everything else, and bring the Moto 360 box closer. So taking a look at the box, you can see it is a round, circular box. Most of the smartwatches in 2015 did come in this packaging, and the main reason for this is due to the round display. The hence the round look. Now, let's take a look around the box. And first, you're going to see the big Motorola sign, which is silver. It's got a sort of wood effect. Don't know if you can see that clearly. And it feels different. And it says Moto 360 there. A bit of specifications and features about the device. And it's in other countries, so it's in German, French, etc. And now, this is a cool thing a little. Sort of, if you were on the shelf, you'll see it like this. But <laughs> we don't really know what this is for, but many other boxes do have this thing here. It does look nice. Get a nice pattern here. And, yeah, just more features. It ought to be the same thing. Now, on the back, you can see a bit more, and it tells you what it requires. So, it requires Android 4.3 or Plus, which I do have 5.1 Lollipop. Uh, and it is compatible with uh, iOS devices. Now, this is due to the... Uh, operating system which is the stock operating system and um, the you know the Google Android Wear app that's the bad boy that powers this whole thing so well to, to power it to your phone obviously you don't need to connect it to set it up you need to connect it but you can use it without your phone once it's set up and the Android Wear app is available on iOS as far as I'm aware as of now. So at the front you can see this is where the Motorola was there. Obviously it's been unpackaged for a few days. The Motorola, Moto360, Men's and a bit of other stuff there. Let me take this off. It was displayed in here with this standard watch um, grip holder and you take this off which is nice and we did get the charging cable and the cradle and picture this this is this is a sticker oh yeah this was a sticker that was on top of the watch and the booklets and all that good stuff now let's put this to the side because there's nothing really to it and let's bring on the bad boy itself so now this is the motorola the uh, 360 second generation so this is the second generation and i'll lock that there and let's take a closer look so as you can see it is all uh, aluminium from the side and um on the back it says Smart 360 stainless steel, wireless charging, which it does have pedometer, heart rate sensor. Now this is the heart rate sensor and the wireless charger. Now the connectors, this these straps are replaceable and you can just do that and take it off and save it on the other side and replace it with another one. Now this one that I did get happens to be the Halloween or whatever how you say that leather. Now this is leather, it's a light leather and it looks really classy and nice and yeah nothing too much detail in the strap no branding on the strap just on the device itself now this is a skin the stock skin that you do get with the um, Motorola 360 so when it's on the lock screen mode it is black and white and the pixels are lower to save battery now this is not AMOLED it's LCD which I will come up to the specs a bit later and yeah so it's shiny at the front, you can see no rotating bezels, bezels or anything. Now, to the side of this, let's get a focus there. You can see it's in, it says Motorola. Well, it's the M logo and a gold ring around the button, which is a clickable button. It doesn't rotate or anything like the Apple Watch. And no, it's not an Apple Watch before people say, you know, you get people say, oh, this uh, is a watch that moves. Is it an Apple Watch? No, it's not, sorry. To disappoint you there, but I prefer this other than the Apple Watch. Who agrees? I mean, it's round and look how nice it looks. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So um, along the display, you can see it is cut off at the bottom, which does disappoint some. But you do get used to it, and you don't really notice it after a bit. I'm sorry for the poor focus. There, it's focused. Now that is the uh, proximity sensor, the infrared, and yeah. That's about it. No cameras on this one. No speakers, but it does have a microphone on the left, which you can see there. And yeah, so obviously for the screen driver, it needs to have 
a cut out on here. Now I have seen the Huawei watch and it is pretty much similar other than a few uh, differences. Now this bad boy is a 46mm version giving you a 1.56 inch display with a resolution of 360 by 330 giving you 233 pixels per inch. Now it is called uh, Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, no Gorilla Glass 4 however it is still strong. It's powered by a Snapdragon 400 clocked in at 1.2 gigahertz and backed by Adreno 305 GPU and a 512 megabyte of RAM and a 400 milliamp hour battery which is relatively large for a small device but not that large. Battery wise I do get a good two days out of this. Now let's go into the watch itself so you can see the interface if I swipe right you can see settings and the other applications so whatever apps you do have on your phone which are compatible with the um, Android Wear they do appear here now toward the right again you can see your un uh, contacts my uncle at the top um, uh, these are not all of your contacts just the ones you use the most now towards your right you can see speak now play music so these are the Google now features that are compatible with the device because it is a Google product. Now you scroll to the bottom you can see notifications so snapchat notification there it tells you who it's from you can open in phone or block the app and scroll more down you can see your tweets you can open in phone do more things with different ones so here's a, a game so Man United versus Chelsea nil nil um, the temperature the weather more from Google so you can see more and you can even open on your phone and that's is yeah, have, have a more. I can dismiss it. So you do right to, to dismiss it, left to open your phone, and yeah, so you can undo the dismiss. Same as with Google now. Now you scroll to the top, you get your little, uh, what's it called? What are you gonna call it? Drop down menu and notification center. Even though no notifications come up here. So these are your notifications. So you can do all priorities. So your priority ones. Same with iOS. I mean Android 5.1 and 5 and none not even alarm so these are priority and these this is all so there is no speaker in here so it won't start singing or anything it'll just simply vibrate now as soon as you go up there you can see your battery which is on 74 percent now i haven't charged this since uh yesterday around i think i took it off about eight o'clock or nine before i went to work and then i had it off all day and yeah so cinema mode now Scroll into the right, you can see the different modes. Now, this is an interesting one, to so cinema mode. So you'll put it on, and it'll tell you there. To turn screen back on, press side button. Android, 5.1 and 5. And none, not even alarm. So these are priority, and these this is all. So there is no speaker in here, so it won't start singing or anything. It'll just simply vibrate. Now, as soon as you go up there, you can see your battery, which is on 74%. Now, I haven't charged this since uh, yesterday around 8 o'clock or 9 before I went to work and then I had it off all day and yeah so cinema mode now scroll into the right you can see the different modes now this is an interesting one to so cinema mode so you'll put it on and it'll tell you there to turn screen back on press side button now if you're at the cinema and you've got it on your wrist and you know you move you everything's dark you usually turn your smartwatch off if you don't want to disturb yourself or any others because it can be distracting now with cinema mode you can move it and the display doesn't come on and to reactivate it just simply press the button once and it comes back on now to activate it without doing that same if you want to save some battery but don't want to turn the whole thing off just simply press twice and cinema mode is on press on again and it's back on come on there it is now I'll, and you'll also see if i don't move this um it'll go on the black and white now this black and white just displays uh, notification the pixel are reduced and you can see the pixels more clearly when it's on this mode and basically this is a sort of standby mode so it doesn't turn, turn completely off you still can use it the watch notifications will appear but they'll be in black and white so everything is black and white to save battery now because this is a is an LCD display it really won't make that much of a difference because the screen will still be on and all the backlight will be activated whereas if it was a AMOLED only the pixels that are being used will be on so yeah so brightness boost already oh, bright, brightness boost already at max so you can change the brightness and um, do it to auto if you wanted to now settings brings you more settings which allows you to adjust the brightness change what face font size which you don't can have 
small no uh, small normal or large change watch face so you do have different ones and to also do this simply hold down and you can change it classic one there we've got different ones we've got the LG one Ted Baker one so if you just click on that you can see it takes seconds and it's loaded now I do prefer the one I use and if you've seen my videos I just keep to stick to what I use best and you can customize it so if you go on settings you can customize the background the accent so you can do it green and red now this is the uh, do it red this is the uh, uh, I think it's a uh, first uh, what's it called that yes yeah, so you can see the seconds handle it's changed to green now you can do different times it still says moto at the top because this is a moto skin and yes yeah, Motorola watch let's just face it so again in settings we were there font side Wi-Fi now this does have Wi-Fi but I don't really see the point of it because it doesn't really work unless you're connected to Bluetooth to your phone so wrist gestures always on screen so you can turn it off Airplay mode as usual, accessibility, screen locked and factory reset, restart and power off and about. Now to power this thing off, you do have to go in settings to power it off. So we'll go in about and you can see more 360, might change that. Uh, battery system update, tells you a bit of information and if you go on, let's see, version such a view, you can see it's Android 5.1.1 so there's no marshmallow update on this yet. And I'm running 5.1 on my yay, device. Now I will show you what it's like. So, okay, Google. Oh, look what decides to wait. Let's lock this phone. Okay, Google. What's the weather like in Leeds? So there you go. It displays the weather a bit like Google now because this is really just Google now when you watch. And you can also do this. Okay, Google. Show me images of smart watches. And connects to the internet and there it displays watch and you can see a bit of the website and yeah that's really about it with Google Images. And if you want to launch it you can open in phone and on my phone here I'll just undo it and it simply just launches it. Now everything that's done on here is through the phone so if you're on the maps which I will have to show you there is a maps um, this is not my location I'm not that silly but um, this is just a random location so Lee Trinity University this is where I were around the weekend and um, you can see you can navigate it same pinching to zoom out and you can see your location use these if you wanted to drop pins and everything and yeah it's handy to have this on here not a, that much of a useful feature, but it depends how much you use Google Maps, but I find it quite useful. Now, it does take a bit of battery in the watch, however, just really the graphics card working hard because location-wise, it doesn't really check anything. It's this bad boy of mobile that will be doing everything, so it's connected to here, getting all the information from there, just like a little remote. Now, you can also use Spotify on here. You can see it displays on here. Now, navigate through there. Lock the device so it's in your pocket. You can see the track, and the title there, and a little player so you can press play and it will control it now. Turn it off. Uh, the sound is not coming through here, you can see an album map. Turn right, you can forward and rewind, volume up and down, and you can even browse. So this Spotify launches it now. It's going all through your phone. It was playing on my phone because I don't have a headphone headphones connected so you can see artists albums playlists and everything on here um go down there you get the point and as soon as you click any it'll start playing random ones so just go home screen just simply press that now i'll show you the android wear app which is very useful and you need this to set up this device for the first time so just launch the android wear app as soon as you hit that, you can see watch faces. Now here I have my device. Yes, you can do this on the, you can change it. So you can change it on the actual clock. You can see the apps, which I do have now. These are the apps compatible for Android Wear, and it will take me to the Play Store. And here are all the Android Star Wars, Android Wear apps. And as soon as you see that symbol, it does mean it's enhanced for Android Wear. 
And yeah, so the Star Wars app is compatible on here and there's a picture, screenshot of what you can do with it to your watch, which is amazing. I'll have to show my mate because he's a big Star Wars fan and he loves to watch. So yeah, so this is really what you can do on the Android Wear app. You can see more, play music, tells you more actions, customise it, see where your device is. And ghost. No, I'm only kidding. And um, yeah, that's really about it. And a lot more features. Obviously, it's all software based, so a lot more to come. Now, that's the Android Wear app you can get from the Play Store. And yeah, so there's a heart rate monitor on here. It works the same way as everything else if you've seen the smartwatch. And yeah, pixel wise, the screen is sharp very sharp and compared to the other ones not the sharpest i've seen and you can see the pixel i think i noticed them more because of my uh, gear my gear s2 samsung galaxy s6 edge because the uh, 1440p on here doesn't match the display on here obviously you don't want a 4040p on here you don't need it it'll just waste all your battery you can tell the difference even between uh normal apple devices the pixels and everything so yeah, so otherwise it's clear, it's really smooth, hardly stutters, bit of lag somewhere sometimes, uh, nothing too heavy, some messages to access your Google Keep and everything. Um, yeah, but nothing too much, too extreme here, you can see my batteries on 71, it's all not in lifetime, um, I haven't showed you on screen time on properly, because you can't and yeah I'm editing this video as we go along so you get the time and you can see roughly how much it'll take and on average on a hardcore day of using the watch you'd get a day like 12 to 13 hours not gonna lie nothing too excessive there but if you use it as a watch see notifications reply a few times show people use it as a gimmick because that's what people think it is it is handy to have um, you'd get easily get two days of battery life. I went out and overnight I didn't have my charger because I was somewhere else and battery was fine. I opened it the next day, turned it off at night, it was 46% and it lasted until that night. So two days and there you go. Roughly two to three days I'd say, it depends what user you are. And I were a heavy user even now. So yeah guys, just a quick review. Well, it was an in-depth review, should I say, of the uh, Moto 360 second generation. Definitely a beautiful device. Everyone seems to think that because of the way it shines. Much better in person. And it does look fake when you see it at the front from afar. You'll see that and you're like, nah, that's not a real watch. You'll get people commenting on Instagram saying this is not a real watch, but it is. And then you move it and they're like, wow. But yeah, definitely beautiful display. I love the way it's round and everything. So, yeah guys, I'll do more videos on here if anything new happens to this. Um, I've got the Monster 24K reviews coming up soon. Uh, a few of the reviews, but this one has to be a big one because um, it's such an amazing device. It's fairly new as well. And yeah, you can pick it up for £230 for the UK pounds for the 42mm and 46mm is around £250 which are fairly expensive but not as expensive as the Apple Watch and you get much more for your money. Now, features wise with the Apple Watch, um, is it better? Oof. There's questions, obviously it looks better, you know that, but there's no force touch which you won't really use. It is, I don't know about battery life, notification just comes up then. <laughs> um, I don't know about the battery life on the Apple Watch. I haven't had an Apple Watch, so I can't talk for that. But if you have an Apple Watch, feel free to comment and see what your opinion is. If you're a hardcore Apple fan and you hate Android and everything that lives or breathes Android, comment if you want. I don't think you still will, but if you do, oh well. But yeah, guys, quick review of the Moto 362. Uh, getting confused here. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more the Monster 24K reviews. If you know that guy in the corner, that is Meek Mill, and you'll know what I'm talking about. That the headphones, crazy gold headphones. They'll be coming up shortly. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, share. It has been quite a long video, but yeah, you can skim through it and subscribe. And see you in the next vid, guys. Peace.